Hey friends, it's Mr. Eric, and we are going on another fi family Bible journey uh, this week. Another lesson for you and your family to explore in the Bible. And to talk about the Bible story, I first want to ask you about some things that you might do on the playground. Whether it is something that you maybe do at a school recess <clears throat> or with kids in your neighborhood. And that is sometimes when you're going to play a game or play a sport, uh, you pick teams. You have two kids who are team captains and they go back and forth and they get to pick who's on their team. And usually that goes one of two ways. Uh, there are some kids that really don't care about winning. They just want to have fun. And so the thing that they always try to do is pick their friends to be on their team. Another way to do it is to try to put together the best team that you can by picking the kids who look like they are the biggest, the fastest, the strongest. And you think that if you've got the biggest, fastest, strongest kids on your team, that you're going to win. And sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I actually uh, used to do some coaching. And I sometimes found that the kids who were the biggest and the fastest and the strongest weren't always the kids that hustled the most or tried the hardest. Um, sometimes instead of being the, the biggest, fastest, strongest, the kids who were the best were the ones who had the most heart, the kids who tried the hardest. And that reminds me of today's Bible story. And if you have one of our um, Bibles that we have given out over the years, you're going to find that the story is on page 168, and it is called A Good Heart. And it is a story where God... Uh, tell Samuel to uh, go find the, the next king. And he's supposed to go to Bethlehem and meet a man named Jesse because God told Samuel it would be one of Jesse's sons. Well, Jesse had a lot of sons. And so, of course, the first ones that are looked at are the, the biggest, the strongest, the fastest. And one after another, God tells Samuel, no, not that one. He finally gets to the end and he says to Jesse, do you have any other sons? And Jesse says, well, yeah, I've got one more, but he's, he's, he's just a boy. He's young. He's out watching the sheep. And Samuel says, well, I want to see him too. And God says, that's the one. You see, David, the son that was selected, wasn't the biggest, the strongest, the fastest, but he had an awesome heart. And God tells us in his word that being big or strong or fast, those are things that are on the outside. And God doesn't look at our the outside of us as much as he looks at what is inside of us, what is in our hearts. And that is what ended up making David a good king. Not because he was big or strong or fast, but because he had a heart that belonged to God. And so we are the same way. God doesn't necessarily look at what we look like or what we can do but he does look at our hearts. And through us, God is able to do some amazing things like spread the good news of Jesus around the world. Again, not because we're big, strong, or fast, but because God is in our hearts. And with Jesus in your heart, you can do anything and you can do everything that God asks you to do. And so as you study God's word this week with your family, we're gonna really focus in on that, that Jesus looks at our hearts more than anything else. Now, uh, I do want to make sure and invite you as you do these fam family Bible journeys, to remind you that we have also started doing Sunday school in person at Prince of Peace, Prince of Bay Day Pause. And so you can do the family Bible journey at home and come to Sunday school. Or if you're not quite ready to go to Sunday school, that's fine too. But I want you to know that that is an option, um, that we have Sunday school for you every Sunday. And it goes from... 10 o'clock to 10.45, and it meets upstairs in the Family Life Center, and we would love to see you there. Um, enjoy these resources, the Bible story that we have for you, and the coloring pages, and the puzzles, and the worship video, and we will see you soon. Have an awesome day. Bye.